Welcome back to Pool School Gang. And in today's episode, we're gonna get a little old school and we're gonna talk about mechanical time clocks. So let's hit it. Alrighty, before we go any further, I'd like to remind you to like and subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. And please feel free to share this channel with any friends you have who have their own pools and have problems with taking care of it or looking to save some money by taking care of it themselves. I am back home in Arizona from a wonderful trip to Cabo San Lucas uh, with my wife's uh, work and it was great. Uh, again, my thanks to the Show It team and also to the Pueblo Bonita um, uh, Pacifica Resort in Cabo San Lucas. It was a epic, wonderful, most memorable trip. So you'll notice also that I'm in my minivan again and I had a new truck, or not a new one, but I had a truck and we had to put a new rear end in it and apparently that rear end that we got wasn't good. So it's back in the shop and I supposedly will get it back in another week. Hopefully I'll have it back before the end of swim season, huh? Anyway, we also are in some serious humidity now. The humidity is up really high and last night we had our first dust slash wind slash rain slash microburst storm lightning and thunder and it was quite epic and spectacular lots of down trees lots of broken trees i got a major broken tree branch in my backyard and uh, it's going to be interesting to see the pools today but anyway again this video is on mechanical time clocks they're a little old school most of the time clocks nowadays um, that are attached to i mean there's there's lots of different types but there's some that are built into a whole control panel like the uh well we'll, we'll go over those in uh in another day on another video but um the newer pool pumps and motors are usually dual speed or multi-speed in order to save money and um they actually are working quite well but a lot of pools still have the mechanical time clock so I thought I'd show you a little bit about them and how to troubleshoot some things I'm not going to show you how to replace them um, they're not that hard though but let's go take a look at a mechanical time clock and how it works and how to make it work and how to set it and how to set the tabs and all that kind of stuff and also about the override so let's head out to a pool so this is a basic mechanical time clock it has a case Intermatic makes one usually and then the inside is the clock dial tells time on off tabs and The connections which are underneath this plastic um, That's basically the time clock Some of them are older and this is missing and I would highly recommend being very careful because behind there is a lot of electrical Connections and they're hot meaning that they can shock you and if you're wet they can really hurt you so I Make sure that you have this plastic protective cover on it. Simple operation of the basics. Um, it's a time clock that keeps time. This is what tells me what time it is right now. It's about 1240, almost one, about 1230. And this is the on off toggle. It's very simple. Just flip it to the right to turn it on and flip it to the left to turn it off. It's pretty much that simple. Now, most of these time clocks have and systems have an override switch. And in this case, I believe that one's right there. Let me see if you see that right there. So if I turn that off and I flip this switch, it won't go on, I hope. Yep, so that overrides the power. So that's something that you have there as a safety that if you ever need to turn it off. But when you troubleshoot it, if your pump doesn't go on, when you turn that toggle on, check that first and also check your breaker, make sure it's on because somebody might have come over and turned it off. So that's the basic gist of the system. Now let's go into setting your timers. Okay, so first thing to set the time clock, it's very simple to set the time of day that it is. So this says that it's noon. I'm just gonna pull this back and twist it and I can set it to whatever time I want and I'm not gonna change it because it's correct. And that's pretty much how I change it and I let it seat back in. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you notice, there's an on tab here. I believe. Yep, no, that's an off, sorry. The off tab is up here. The on tab is right there. And there's an additional off tab. Now, this is set to run from, let's see, it says from 1 a.m. I'm sorry, it's, gonna, it's set to run from about 7 p.m. to 1 a.m. And for them, that's what they want. You can set the on tab and off tab however you want. They're very simple to set. Just unscrew it, 
Sorry, I have these tightened a little bit. So I'm not gonna have, be able to do it because I usually use pliers to tighten a little bit. You just unscrew that, slide it around, and set it to where you want, in this case, it to turn off, and set the other one where you want it to turn on. Don't turn this in order to do that. Set it using these. Now, people ask me, what is this one for? When I service pools, I brush the sides down and brush the steps down and everything, and I want to make sure that they don't, that the, the debris that I loosen up, the dirt, gets filtered out and vacuumed out. So I always leave the filter running after I leave, so that way it, but a lot of people don't want it running all the way through till it cycles through the next time. So that's what that additional off tab is for. All I do is set that, and when I leave and let it run, this system will run for a couple hours and then shut off and then just go back to its normal <laughs> hours. So that's pretty much the basics of a time clock. A couple things to keep in mind when it comes to troubleshooting. Number one, if you wanna find out if your time clock is keeping time, it's really simple. Take this dial, set it to the time that it is during the day, walk away from it for a couple hours, come back, and if it's keeping time, it's working. If not, then you probably need a new time clock and you only have to replace the guts. You might get a licensed electrician to do that, although you could do it yourself. It's tricky when you deal with electricity. Also, again, as I said before, this override switch, before you go and call an electrician and go, oh, I need a new time clock because my system's not turning on, when you flip the toggle switch, check your override switch and make sure it is on, okay? Do not confuse it with a lot of times a switch that is for the light in the pool, which is what that one's for. So the way you find out, turn your system on, go to those toggle switches, flip one down. If that shuts the, the, the system off, then you know that's the override switch. But those are pretty much the only two things. One other thing to consider, sometimes if you have your pool and it's in the off, the off tab is really close. If you try to turn it on, well this one's not gonna, it's gonna make a lie out of me. Sometimes it won't let you actually turn it on if it's too close to the off tab, if the actual time is too close to the off tab because it's catching on the tab back there. But other than that, that's pretty much how your time clock works. Simple, simple. Now I'm gonna leave it running because I just serviced this pool and then it'll shut off just before three. Hey, one more thing I wanted to bring, your, bring to your attention before I end this video is a lot of pools, uh, especially the older pools, are still wired with a mechanical time clock like this one is here. I'll have to go to the other side of the gate so you can see it. But they've added, they've put in a new pump motor, and in this case, this is the two-speed Hayward or the multi-speed Hayward. Some of you might have a filter uh, pump like this. So in this case, you want to be able to override this. I'm going to come around to this side so you can see it. So in this case, what they did was they completely took the time clock out and just hardwired it through, which is really smart. But some pools didn't have that happen and they had the time clock left inside of here. So in those cases, all you gotta think about doing is you don't wanna be able to control it anymore from the time clock. You wanna be able to control it from that, the control box down there that's attached to the new pump. So all you do is you make sure that the toggle switch is on and then you take off the on and off tabs and then that just allows power to flow through. This is actually a better way to do it. They've pulled the guts out of the time clock and just hardwired it so you have power flowing through it. And you still have your override switch right there on and off, and that would turn it on and off, okay? So that is if you had a retrofitted, newer multi-speed pump. So keep that in mind. So folks, that is my video on the old school mechanical time clocks. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions or comments, you can always post them in the comment section below this video. Or, as always, you can email me directly, and my email address is going to come across the bottom of the screen again. It's kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, kennypoolschool at gmail.com. I want to again remind you to like subscribe and share this channel and uh, if you did like the video let me know I'd really appreciate it and uh, as always until the next time we talk remember to have fun be safe and always 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 watch the kids around water thanks for watching